Bunny, and I hope you all enjoy my hairstyle today. I just created this one. It's called, wow, that looks really bad. I've got a lot of deep conditioning issues going on today, so my hair is still kind of moist. But I do have a really exciting video for you guys today because it is everybody's favorite day of the week. The day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And today, I hit my face with that a little bit. Magic pants! So today, we're gonna be testing out the highly requested magic pins. I always love these items when they have the word magic attached to them because it's so much more special. I actually found these at my grocery store, which is called HEB. It's a special grocery store for those of us who live in Texas. These were $10, I believe, between $10 and $12. My memory is not that good. You get 20 different pins in here. I'm not exactly sure what makes these so magical or different. They are amazing color changing pins, but I'm pretty sure that this same thing has been around for like a million years now and I think Crayola has even made these kinds of products. You also get one blow pin in here and I know for a fact that blow pins used to be a big big deal. I myself had blow pins and that used to be a whole separate as seen on TV thing. It was very exciting. So you get all these pins in here. You get a bunch of different colors. It looks like we have pink, purple, orange, two different shades of green. Does anybody really want me to list through all the colors? Just be like pink, purple, green, blue, orange, yellow, red, black, white, blue, yellow. Am I repeating some colors here? So there are in fact many different types of pins in here. You have these two white markers, which really are the magic pens, and they look like they would just write in white ink or clear ink, so those are the color changing magic pens. Then you have color changing pens, and you can tell those because they have different barrel and different cap colors. So this one, I guess, writes in blue and then changes to this yellow, kind of green, yellow, neon color. And then this one writes in purple, but then if you use the magic pen, it will change to this hot pink color. Then you have some pins in this kit that they all look like they are the same color. And these are eraser pens. So let's just get started and let's do some drawings. I think that that would be the best way to find out if these really work or not. The very first pin I'm going to test out is some of these color changing pins. So let me just draw a fancy alligator with wings. I am not an artist at all. I forgot to give him some teeth. There we go, he needs some more legs and I'll make it so he's like flying in the clouds. These are clouds, if you can imagine that. Maybe I'll give him purple wings. I hate it when I like touch the colors of the markers. Does that just bother anybody else? I'm like horrified of mixing the different colored inks. I'll give him like some swirls. This alligator is flying in a really weird sky. So now you take one of these magic markers and ooh, that's a really vibrant, pretty color. You guys seeing this? Oh, it kind of spreads the ink though. Can you guys see that? It like makes it runny. You know what I'm saying? Cause it got purple or pink ink on the pin. So I'm just kind of drawing patterns here. You can definitely tell it a lot more when you draw a lot with the marker, if that makes any sense. But see, it definitely does smear some of the ink like that. I don't necessarily know if kids would be bothered by that, but I'm kind of like a little bit too, um, what is it, type A personality? Now we are going to try out the eraser pens. So for that, you just do like a big, wow, this seems to already be kind of running out of ink a little bit. Look at that. 
That's kind of crazy. I have never opened or used these before. I'm just gonna put these colors next to each other. And then I will take one of the same white magic pens and I will write a message. Swamp. Family. Ta-da. That's actually pretty cool. I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see it. That works pretty well. It definitely did take the ink away here. The next thing they're saying that you can do is do like a secret message with your friends. So somebody can start out by using the magic pen and writing a secret message. Which is kind of hard because you're writing in clear ink and you go over this seems like that would waste a lot of your ink though, uh, going over this area, trying to figure out where somebody wrote a decoded message. So this was supposed to say, I love y'all exclamation mark, but I accidentally forgot where I wrote the L's. So I put the exclamation mark in between the two L's. So that looks kind of silly, doesn't it? The last thing that you're supposed to be able to do is use this blow pin apparatus. I thought it was going to be a special blow pin in there like how blow pins used to be, but it's not. What you're supposed to do is take one of the magic pins and you're supposed to slide it through this tube here. So you make sure that the tip of the pin is where this curved piece of plastic is and you tighten the corkscrew onto the pin like so and then you are supposed to blow in this straw oh wow there you go ink kind of goes everywhere but <laughs> let me grab one of these stencils that's the other thing that you get in here is a big stencil pack so you get letters and numbers you guys may not be able to see because it's not perforated you get like a rose and a toucan and a dinosaur and oh here we go i am going to do this shape that i'm sure it's supposed to be an apple but i'm gonna call it a peach natural peaches <gasps> i just tore the stencil so word to the wise be very very careful with these when you're punching the designs out. So scratch the natural peach and I'm gonna go with these cherries instead. Well, that's not working anymore. Wow. Make sure you've got really good lungs for this activity. Oh my goodness, you guys, I feel like not only am I extremely lightheaded, I feel like I'm kind of running out of ink already. That is about all of that that I can tolerate. I do feel very lightheaded. I do feel like you waste a ton of ink trying to do this. It's not really controlled. Like a lot of times you will blow on it and you'll get a lot of ink at once. And then sometimes you're blowing on it and you get nothing. This will color change into neon pink. I think it should. So, there you have it. There's all the different ways that you can use magic pens. They are pretty fun. I definitely like them the most for this kind of message writing stuff. I feel like that looks really awesome and it could be fun for you and your friends to like hide secret messages and decode them. I think they're all right for this. Maybe um, like when you draw on them and more like bunched areas like this and then do the magic pin you can see it more than like when i just did my beautiful line drawing but i really think that the blow pin idea is horrible 
You waste a lot of ink. The stencils are really fragile. You have to be really careful. I wasn't even being aggressive at all and this one ripped immediately. I do feel like some of the colors feel like they're running out of ink a little bit already. I'm not sure if that's cause it's been definitely like over a hundred degrees a day here. But some of the colors like the yellow one, maybe it's just the lighter colors cause all the darker colors seem to write really well. But some of the lighter colors definitely look like they're already maybe running out of ink just a little bit. But overall, I do think that they are fun. And overall, I do think that they do what they say. It's pretty interesting to see the ink like transform or disappear right in front of your very eyes. Don't forget if there is a device out there that you've been seeing on TV or if you just see a crazy wacky device that you would like for me to test out, leave it as a comment down below. I will look for it. I will find it and we will test it out together. Thank you guys so so much for hanging out and for watching today. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below. Subscribe. Become a member of the Swamp Family and give it alligator its wings. Also if you want you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl. Same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so so much and I will see y'all tomorrow. 